Hello everyone, it's Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. I'm done with the guitar. The Ibanez guitar that I've been talking about, let's go grab it. Let's talk a little bit about what I did to make this playable, to make it work. And Evan, if you're watching this, Evan is the guy who sold me this guitar. Thank you very much, appreciate it. You know, this guitar is not my favorite style, but it plays like a sweet dream now. It's nice, it's a sweet ride. We're gonna plug it in, in just a minute and let you listen to it. I didn't change anything on it, like I didn't change the pickups or anything like that, or the switches or the volume knobs and everything plays really well. The volume and the tone knob are not dirty at all. It's really nice. Uh, very nice build quality. All right, let's just go through the steps of what I did to make this guitar very, very playable. First of all, I took the strings off of it. I cleaned it up. That's just something I do every time I change strings. Then I oiled the neck. I oiled the neck with lemon oil. And uh, I don't know, it's not, it's not, showing it exactly the way I want to. I mean, it's, it looks good, but it's, it's a darker color now. It feels really good and uh, it looks really good. It looks like a new guitar now. After I cleaned it up, I put new strings on it and then I adjusted the nut. Now the nut is this black piece right here. It's important that the height of the slots right here are just right and the way I did that was I put my finger on the third fret and then I tap with my other finger like this to see what the gap is right there. I didn't measure it, I just did it by feel. I've been doing this for years. Don't know if you can hear that. It was like a little tap, tap, tap. Hear that? And I get it pretty close. And especially I want it so it doesn't buzz when I play the string open. Now, if I play it open very aggressively, it'll buzz, but I don't play like that. I play kind of light. I can always uh, put super glue and uh, baking soda in there and raise it up again and then redo the slot if I think it's too low, but it's, it's just right. So I got this just the way I wanted to, I thought. Then, as I was putting on the strings and as I was cleaning up, I found that these nuts right here on the tuners were loose, so I tightened them. And then also, the nut right here, you know, that is loose again. I'm gonna have to take this off and put some Loctite on it. The next thing I did after I tightened those things up was uh, I adjusted the truss rod. And what you do is you get an Allen wrench and you put it right down in here and the truss rod goes underneath the neck and I tightened the neck to take a little bit of the curve out and now this thing is nice and straight. I really love it that way. And uh, then I adjusted the intonation, which I probably could have waited on the intonation, but I, I wanted to do it right then. Uh, the next thing I did was uh, I found another Allen wrench that would adjust the height of the bridge pieces. Now all of these bridge pieces, they can be individually adjusted because they're all separate. So you'll notice that the bridge pieces are not lined up perfectly straight. That's because the gauge of the string, the thickness of the string changes from string to string. This is a 42, 42 one thousandths of an inch, 32 one thousandths of an inch, uh, I'm trying to remember if that's 24 one thousandths of an inch or something, 16 one thousandths of an inch, 11 one thousandths of an inch, 9 one thousandths of an inch. So these are called nines. These strings are Diodario. I really love Diodario strings. Of course, if they don't sound good after a while, I'll try a different um, brand. But Diodario is usually really good for me. So then there's these little set screws right here. So I adjusted the height of these bridge pieces. <laughs> Four frets. None of them buzz now, but after I brought these pieces down, some of them were buzzing a little bit, like the G string was buzzing a little bit like that. Uh, 
And when they buzz, then I know that the bridge piece is too low. So then I raise it up until everything sounds really good. I didn't have a way to make sure that the frets were seated. I don't really do that. If I find that that's a problem, I will get somebody to do that later. Uh, I didn't need to polish the frets. They were pretty, pretty smooth. Um, also, I didn't have to check the height of the frets. So I didn't worry about that right now. I just thought I'd get it playable and see how it worked. It's working pretty good. So I set the height of these and then I had to reset the intonation one more time. And when we set the intonation on a guitar, what you do is you, you get a tuner. I, I'm going to use this one. This is a Polytune by TC Electronic. There's a Unitune, which is a really good one. So what, what you do is you make sure that the open string and the 12th fret are the same. And let's see. That's good, okay. And actually what I did was I used on my phone, I have, I have a tuner called iStroboSoft. It's by Peterson. It looks like that. It works really well. So when it goes down like that, it means that the note is a little teeny bit flat. So it looks like I might have to adjust the intonation just a little teeny bit more. Now you don't want to adjust the, the intonation uh, on a guitar when it has bad strings on it. When they're not new strings, you want new strings. So make sure you do that. So there it is. It's a really nice playing guitar. RG321MH. Okay. Why am I showing you all this? Well, it's because you need to get your guitar just working really well. It needs to be set up just properly so that you don't have to fight with it. I'll tell you, I can play bar chords all day on this thing. And it's wonderful. It doesn't hurt my hands. The nines are perfect and uh, it's very light. All right, that's all I have. Thanks for coming along. My name is Hal. I do have a subscribe star page and other options below if you want to donate and picked up my Quail Studios music and lead sheets book. It also has some theory in it. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.